fellow cyborgs and welcome to another day of Quotidian Cyborg. Today I would like to share with you my Victober TBR. So Victober, in case you weren't aware, though I'm sure you probably are, is the brainchild of Katie from Books and Things, Yamini from The Skeptical Reader, Alicia from Ex Libris, Kate Howe, and Ange from Beyond the Pages. And they are just trying to get people, get you and me, reading Victorian literature in the month of October. There are five challenges which include things like reading reading a book where the, a plot is afoot, reading a book in a week, reading something other than a novel, reading a novel, a Victorian novel written by a woman, reading a gothic Victorian novel. So I have a little stack of books here that pertain to some of those challenges, so let me just go ahead and talk about them. First up here is Villette by Charlotte Bronte, which tackles the challenge of reading a Victorian book written by a woman. I'm reading this with my personal book club and also with a couple different booktubers, including Acacia Ives and Lisa from Lycan Books. I was hoping to finish this in September, but it just doesn't look like I'm going to get all the way through it. I mean, I'm like 30 pages in, something like that, 43. Mm -hmm. So this I will be finishing up in October for sure and adding it on to my October TBR. Then we have This Beast, Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens. I don't think that this really counts toward any of the challenges, but it is very Victorian. This is a long-awaited buddy read with Victoria from Hermit's Progress, Kate Howe, and Amanda J. And I'm really looking forward to tackling this beast of a book with some ladies who will keep me motivated. I will be reading this all in the month of October, which is going to be quite a challenge since I read Little Dorrit earlier in the year and that took me two months to read. So we'll see if I can do it, fingers crossed, but I'm looking forward to getting this under my belt and chatting with some lovely ladies along the way. Then we have The Turn of the Screw by Henry James, who was an American, but I'm counting him as Victorian, as Katie said. I could. I'm hoping that I will read this under a week because it's, you know, it's very short. I will hopefully be buddy reading this with Acacia Ives because she has a copy of this as well and is looking forward to reading it sometime soon. So I'm looking forward to trying out some Henry James for myself, getting a little spooky with this one, and hopefully completing that challenge. And finally, here are The Romantics and Victorians, which is a poetry collection that was put together by Sister Frances Camilla and John F. Ennis. And this is really old, like, oh, well, it's like the 60s, like 66, but I found this at a Goodwill and when I picked it up and opened it, I cracked off the, fr the front and back covers. So I've like taped, package taped the whole thing back together. This poor thing has just not been loved and it's just beaten up enough. But yes, so this is a collection of romantic and Victorian poetry. And this, this covers the challenge of reading not a novel, during Victober, so I'm hoping to, you know, at least get through some of this. I've had this on my shelves for ages and just have never picked it up, so hopefully I can pick through some of this and get started on reading some Victorian poetry. So these are the four books that I hope to read that qualify for Victober. I do have a bunch of other books that I'm hoping to read in October as well, but these are the Victorian ones. Please let me know in the comments down below if you are participating, what challenge you think is the most challenging and if you have any recommendations for me in regards to Victorian literature. I really do love Victorian literature. It's one of the my favorite English courses I took in university, but I just haven't read enough of it. So hopefully Victober will help me get back on track with one of those loves of mine. Thank, thank, thank you for watching. And until next time, continue to be lovely. You're a Victorian parasol. Just a quick thank you to all of my patrons who are supporting my channel on Patreon, and a special thank you to Mallory C. Hello for contributing and being a part of that Patreon family. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you are enjoying the videos, having a lovely day, and are maybe reading even some Victorian books.